Hi, Chris Delano here with IPD, and what I have here in front of me is our new exhaust system for the 2004 to 2007 S60 and V70R models. What we're going to do is we're going to go over the exhaust system, all the individual pieces, and also talk about the benefits and go over the new oval tubing that we're really happy to uh, provide to the market. And then we'll do an installation on the S60R behind me. In front of me on this table is our T304 stainless steel exhaust system. Everything that comes out of the box is laying right here in front of me. What you're going to get in the kit is a flange that basically will adapt to any stock downpipe or any aftermarket downpipe with a two-bolt flange. Then we have our resonator, front resonator here for the exhaust. One of the coolest features is this oval tubing center section. And we're going to go over this in detail compared to the stock system here shortly. Our rear muffler and then also our tip. And then to complete the kit, we have our stainless steel band clamps. All right, now we're going to go over the front resonator section. Alrighty, what I have in front of me right now is the front resonator and the front flange adapter. The resonator incorporates a straight through perforated uh, design for optimum performance and flow. The front flange adapts to the back of the downpipe, but what feature that this has, one of the many features on this exhaust, is that the front flange allows the resonator to slip for maximum adjustability. What we have here in front of us is still the front resonator, and then we have the beginnings of our oval tube center section. The oval tube center section, this is the transitional piece which basically attaches to the rear of the resonator. You can see that this is three inch and it transitions into the oval tube. But what we did here at the back of the resonator is another slip joint. This allows you to feed it into the transitional piece here and allows for adjustability. Okay, what we have on the table now is a stock R center section of a stock exhaust. And then we have IPD's new oval tubing center section. As you can see, it's got a transitional pipe that goes into true oval tubing, which equates to a little over three and a quarter inches. Our goal was to optimize the flow by increasing the diameter of the exhaust, but while maintaining as close to possible as the stock system's ground clearance. We've tested other three inch exhaust systems in the market, and we were able to get about another inch and a quarter more ground clearance with the oval tubing compared to three inch round stock. We were able to maintain within a half an inch ground clearance of what the factory unit does where it passes under the rear subframe. Here in front of us now is the rear muffler section along with the tip. Now this rear muffler does incorporate a straight through perforated core it has a step down internally on the core as well, which helps with some of the obnoxious tones and gurgling or popping that you would sometimes set here out of a lesser quality muffler. This muffler does provide more of a tuned sound. Um, it's not as conventional as our older exhaust that IPD has offered in the past that were uh, more comparable to the stock system. This one does let you know that you have put an aftermarket exhaust on the car. It offers you a more European tuned um, I like to compare it to like a BMW enthusiast tuned exhaust system where it's um, really nice under load and hard acceleration and throttle, but when you're cruising, you know, it's just enough to let you know that something's there, but it's not obnoxious to where it's going to drive you out of the vehicle. Now our tip also has a slip section that allows you for adjustability to line up the tips for the rear muffler, so this would slip on to this elbow piece here, and it gives you a little bit of adjustability there so you can line up the tips to your choice um, exiting the rear muffler assembly or the rear bumper assembly. One last thing included in the kit are these three inch stainless steel exhaust clamps. And what they do is they go at all the slip joints. Being that our exhaust system is T304 stainless, it's only natural to include a really nice high end stainless steel clamp.